So today I'm going to replace the nut, uh, not the nut, the saddle on my court dreadnought cutaway. If you have a look, the colour is really bad. And you can see here, if you have a look, you can actually see the string gaps. The string gap between there and there is really bad. So my G string. It's actually cut a little groove in there and you can see bits are broken off here so it needs replacing um, this guitar is about four years old I bought it brand new about four years ago and this is really discolored the nut up the other end probably needs doing as well but uh, I'm going to do this today and I'm going to be replacing it with a bone nut. Now, if you have a look at the difference in the colour between this one and that one, it is really like it's plastic and it is degraded badly. So today, yeah, we'll uh, change the saddle. Right, if that focuses, you can see here, here, and here. Focus, focus, you mongrel of a thing. Oh, it's not going to do it. Yeah, anyway, you can actually see where the strings have, have gouged out this. So. This is a new one, and the other thing I notice straight away is that that moves a lot. Whereas if I put this one in, so that can ruin the intonation of your guitar. The strings would have been pulling this on an angle, like so, instead of level. So that ruins your intonation. So now the other thing we have to do is we have to make this one the same height as that one. The other thing you have to be careful with is down in there, and this won't focus, you can sort of see it up there. But that is your piezo. I mean, this is electric when I want it to be. So, yeah, just be careful under there. Don't go bashing anything down onto it. So these are nearly the same height, but not quite. Not quite. So... What I'll do is some sandpaper. I've got the, the, the string height on my guitar just right with this one. Now I want to make that one exactly the same as that. So I've got some wet and dry sandpaper here, which is probably not the right thing. It is 800 grit, and I'm going to sand this down so it's exactly the same height as that one. Make sure you do this on a nice flat surface. Keep checking your heights. Right, I'm pretty happy with that. Also there you can see oh, the difference in the thickness as well. So, we'll whack the new one in, put new strings on, and 
See what it sounds like. So I'm going to oil up the bridge and the frets. I've got some quick fret uh, guitarist lube and cleaner. So I've got the proper stuff now. Um, I got that from Southside Guitars. I'll leave a link to them here somewhere. Um, yeah, good people down there. So yeah, we'll do all this. Can you see the difference? We'll do that one there. And the difference between that and that. Makes a huge difference. I've tightened up a couple of these tuners. They have a little Phillips head in the end. A couple of them were loose. So we've done that. This thing does not want to focus. There we go. Oh, the fretboard looks beautiful. Put new strings on. These strings are Ernie Balls. They're Earthwood. They're lights. The last ones I had, I think, were ultra lights. So I was told they might have been too light for the Dreadnought, but I like that sound. So I'm going with these. I uh, won't put you through um, me stringing it up and tuning it. So I'll cut you back on when um, I've got it tuned. These strings are 11 gauge to 52 gauge. It's all pretty good. Happy with that. See you on the next one. Ooh, ooh. <laughs>